Hello and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. My name is Rebecca Escott and today I'm going to show you an, an ombre um, using two beautiful colors that are both metallic, Treasure and Passion from AB Designs. I'm going to ombre down at the bottom half section of this tumbler, and I've already taped off the top half because originally I was going to do white, but then I decided I wanted it to match the bottom and I did gold. But at any rate, since we're only going to ombre the bottom section, it's still important to go ahead and tape off that top half. Okay, and if you've seen any of my previous videos, you will know that I absolutely love to use spray paint to apply my glitter at all costs. This one is, is to no exception. So because I did not ombre using red spray paint versus gold spray paint, I just went with a solid white. The first couple of passes here that I'm applying the glitter is really just to make sure that my colors are nice and deep. Because of course, these are dark colors onto a white spray paint. It's really best practice if you spray paint the tumbler that matches your glitter the best. So once you've done your initial spray paint base coat and then you've started to apply your glitter, every time thereafter that you need to take it out back to spray it, make sure you're using clear seal, clear seal from Rust-Oleum, not the spray paint, not a white or a gold or anything like that. You want to keep it clear. Then you come right back in and just continue to reapply your glitter. Again, at this point, I'm still trying to make sure that I get the, the deep depth of the color that they're supposed to be. And then I start really worrying about the uh, tightening up my ombre. So this is the first time that I've sprayed it clear. And as you can see, my colors are really starting to ring true and everything is looking good. After this is when I really have figured out where my ombre is going to lie on the tumbler and then I can start tightening it up. So it took a couple of times, I want to say two or three times easy, just to make sure that I had everything nice and with deep colors and my ombre was on point. But you don't have to rush this process at all. This is not working with epoxy where you have a time limit and you're not working with Mod Podge that gets thick and gooey and it's just a mess. This is just my personal preference. I do hope that you guys are willing to give this a chance and see how it works for you because you can continue to go out and respray and respray in order to get that ombre nice and tight and it gives you a lot more time to work with the tumbler as well and you don't have to worry about the cup being super thick and bulky by the time that you're done. Please let me know down in the comments if you've tried this or if you're willing to give it a try. And if you have or you will, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I also want to mention that from my experience working with spray paint and glitters, this works best when you're using fine glitters, not chunky. So now that I'm happy with my ombre, I'm going to go ahead and remove the parchment paper as well as the tape. I'm going to allow this to completely dry and then I'm going to seal it one more time before I go in with the gold at the top. So now that our bottom half ombre is now dry, we can now move on to the top. So since my tumbler is already white, I'm just going to go ahead and use Mod Podge. I am going to go in here pretty thick so that I only have to do one glitter application.
So once you're happy with this glitter section, we're then going to go ahead and let this completely dry. I will then seal the entire tumbler one more time before moving on to a coat of epoxy. For this coat of epoxy, I am going to be using Fast Set from Counterculture DIY. I'm going to let this cure for about three to four hours before moving on to the next step. I really hope you are enjoying this video so far, and if so, please hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials coming soon. Don't forget to click the bell to get notifications for every time I launch a new video. And a very big thank you to all my YouTube supporters. I really appreciate you guys. If you're interested in joining in my YouTube membership program, click the join button right after this video and see which perks works best for you. I'm going to be using the metallic red nail tape from AB Designs. You might have already noticed that I sanded in that section where the red meets the gold. But that was the only section that I needed to sand where those two meet. So now we're ready for our decal. This came from a 12 by 12 sheet of clear cast vinyl sheet from AB Designs. You'll see the cute little red heart which inspired me to do the, the touch of red ombre onto this tumbler. Now because this is a clear cast decal, you want to make sure that it is placed onto an epoxied non-sanded surface. If you apply this on a sanded surface, unfortunately you're going to see the scratch marks up underneath. So I know I'm very premature on this design, and football season does not even start until September, but I genuinely just loved it and had to use it. So we're going to go ahead and give this a really good rub down. When you're ready, remove that transfer sheet. If by any chance you've seen any air pockets, you can take your weeding pin and pop them right out. I absolutely love the way this tumbler looks. I went ahead and added a matching heart football at the bottom as well as the, on the back side you're going to see here in a second. This coat of epoxy is fast set from Counterculture DIY. This tumbler only needed one more final coat and she was complete. I want to thank you so much for watching and be sure to find me on TikTok under Rebecca Escott. Facebook at Everything Tumblr Tutorials for continued learning. Remember, all the links from this tutorial will be down in the description for you below. As with always, make sure you use your heat torch to pop any bubbles you may or may not be able to see.